Using the Animoto app on the iPad, once you have opened Animoto, you can look at the different view. Now, Animoto is written for the iPhone, so you'll notice that there's a 1x and a 2x. Clicking on that makes it size for the iPad. Once I'm in the Animoto app, I can click on Create a Video at the bottom. And here is where I actually click on the bottom right to get the listing of all the options that I have for my video. Let's go ahead and change styles. That's the really first thing we want to do, and that's more the theme of what we're dealing with or what you can have. And please know you can change the style anytime you want in the creation of your video. But as I scroll through, you can see the various styles or themes that can be applied to any particular video. There are many here on the iPhone app. Makes it wonderful to create here. You can also create on the web part as well. Once I see one, I'm going to choose fireworks. It just sounds like a fun theme to use. I'm going to click at the bottom where it says select style. You know, it automatically comes with the song, but sometimes it's nice to know what the pictures are, the photos are before you choose your music. So I'm going to go to the photos part, and in order for it to access your photo library, you have to say allow. So I'm going to allow that. I'm going to go into my different library pieces and select a couple of images. When I'm done, click Done, and it will load these images into Animoto. Once my images are loaded, I can click on any one of them and move them around so that I can organize my images in the way that I want them to appear. Now I'm going to click that bottom right hand um, down arrow again to find more selections. Now let's go ahead and choose our song. Now you have the option of choosing your own music, and I want you to remember about copyright, um, or you can choose the music that comes with Animoto. If I click on the music, the all songs, I would see my music library on my device. Um, and again, please keep in mind about copyright when dealing with this. I'm going to choose some music from the Animoto library. And as I scroll down, I could see them and I could view them in a variety of ways. I ch chose to do it by playlist. And I'm going to pick one. If I want to listen to it, I could click the play button. And doing so, I could listen to the music so I know that's what I want. Um, but once I'm happy with that, I will click Select in the upper right. And then again, go back to the um, down arrow, the arrow up arrow, I'm sorry. And I had the option of also adding a video clip if I wish, a very small video clip. But I'm going to skip that, and we're going to go ahead to talk about adding text. Now, if I click the Add Text button, we're not talking about writing a book here. As you'll notice at the top, I have 22 characters, and in the subheading, I have 30 characters. So this, this is not a lot of data you're going to put in here. So I'm going to put in the little title of, of Wow, Angry Birds, and then click the Done button. When I'm, when I'm through with it, I could add a subheading if I wished. I'm just going to stay with the main heading. Main heading will be a little bit bigger in physical appearance, and the subheading would be a little bit smaller in text. Just like with the images, I can move it around, decide where I want to put it, if it'll overflow the top of an image or not. Um, if I click on any particular item in there once I'm happy with it, I can do a little bit more work. Uh, at the bottom, you'll see the word Spotlight. Now, Animoto has a mathematical function that allows it to take the music and the images and some of the other items to determine what your video is going to look like. Spotlight says, I want that video to, or that image to appear more often, and that will be taken into consideration. But I have, you see, I have a lot of other options there as well. Uh, again, if I click on the text, I can go in and re-edit the text. I'm going to go ahead and click the back button here. And now, for the most part, I have my video created. The upper right-hand corner, you'll see the word preview. So if I want to get an idea of how my video looks, I can click video, and it'll give me a little generating, a little, little uh, not great quality at this time, but a video of what it looks like. I can go in and add the title so that those users know what the title of my video is. I can add a description and I can add a lot more information here as well while it's going through the preview process. Once the preview process is done, I'll be able to play my video, hear the music, watch how it looks. If I like it, that's fantastic and I would go ahead and generate the full video. If I'm not sure that that's, that's what I want, I could go ahead and continue the editing process by clicking the button in the upper left-hand corner. Once I do that, click the button in the upper left-hand corner, and I go back to the edit part, 
I can click the edit button, save this, this particular item, and I have the choice of do I want to save it and, and continue it later, or do I want to get rid of it. I'm going to save and continue later. And you'll know that if I come back to my production and my iPad, I can go in and continue to work on that. Now at the bottom right hand corner, there's an account icon. If you click on the icon, here is where you could log in. Um, if you don't have an account, you could sign up for the first time. You can find out some information about the app itself. But if I logged in, then I would see, be able to see other videos that I had created um, on my account by clicking that upper tab on other videos. So I hope that this was a very helpful uh, in learning how to uh, work with Animoto. Thank you for listening.